So the van is actually almost done. I have one more thing to do and that's the brakes. And last time I checked they were very important. It's a little bit of a backstory. I had to change everything from the middle of the van all the way back. And I changed everything in regard of the brakes. And because of the brakes was actually working before I started to fix the back brakes, I neglected the fronts. Because when I have changed everything, back it actually started not working I get the soft paddle and the brake paddle was going all the way down to the floor and I tell you I've tried everything for months now I've tested everything the only thing I did not do was to check the brakes in the front because as I said they worked before so I neglected that it was any problem with the brakes in the front turns out I had problem with all the brakes all around the vehicle. So I have actually ordered new parts for the front. So hopefully this is the last thing I have to do and then I can get this van inspected. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. And hopefully it's gonna be the last time I have to do anything with the brakes. So with a little bit of luck and fingers crossed, in the end of this episode, I'm gonna have working brakes. But for the time being, I'm sitting down at the lake in my hometown, soaking in the sun and the nice weather and wait for the notification so I can go and pick up the parts for the brakes. And when I got it, I will see you. Finally have some parts. This is a repair kit for the for one of the uh, calipers in in the back. Of course, I saw that it leaks a little bit of oil, not much, but a little bit. So I can repair it because I have already repaired one of the caliper in the back. So why not have both repaired? Uh, I had to buy new pins because in the front. When I took it apart, this one was stuck. It was so severely stuck that it's, it had been one with, with the bracket. So I had to get it out from the vehicle and put it up in a vise uh, just to break it free. So I decided because it, it didn't look that nice afterwards. So I decided to buy two new and this I need as well, I think, and a little bit of lube. So that's that. And then I saw on one of the sides in the front that where the piston is, one of these uh, has been destroyed. And this is just the rubber that sits around the piston just to protect it. And that piston was also a little bit of seized, so, but I got it uh, moving. So hopefully when I take it out and clean it up and put in new rubber gaskets, it's gonna be fine. And then of course, I have, I have uh, new pads as well for the front. So yeah, that's it. That's all the parts. And hopefully it, this will be a smooth operation, but you never know. But I anticipate that it will be. So yes, to show you how the old one looks. There were no rust from the beginning, but you can see how bad they are. They are quite old and what I saw on one side was, you can see the thickness of that one and then the thickness of the other one, it's uh, not equal. And uh, that's usually because one of these are stuck and it was, this one was stuck and that one was not. And the same for the other side, if you look, this one was not stuck, this was stuck. And you can see this one is totally destroyed. So yeah, this one had to be changed.
So what I'm doing here is that I'm checking for any spots that's higher just to make sure that they are not stacking again because that was probably why they stuck and unfortunately i don't know if i ordered the wrong ones or if they sent me the wrong ones but this is not for ford transit and it's not for the front it's for the for the rear for another car so yeah it's not the first time uh, i got the wrong parts despite that i ordered the right parts so yeah, so I'm using the old ones, uh, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna get get this installed. I'm gonna use a little bit of anti-seize paste just to make sure that it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, seize up, obviously. <sighs> This one that's broken. This is the one I had to sh have to change, and hopefully the piston is not too bad. Uh, I can reuse them. But yeah. I have no idea how to get this out and how to do this. Uh, I've done it before on other calipers, but this one is a little bit different. It's two pistons. I have only worked with one, but I assume that these pistons has no mechanical things they are just pushed in so hopefully they are just to push out maybe with compressed air here but i have to empty it first but i'm gonna put you on a time lapse while i do this because it's better that i don't walk you through this at all and i don't think you're gonna think it's in interesting in any way so i'm gonna put you on a time lapse and do this and I will be back. rather easy if you use compressed air be careful because this flies away yeah it pops really loud and it comes so don't, don't have any fingers here uh, if you try with compressed air uh, just be careful but yeah they pop out really easy and there are no springs or screw mechanisms as it is in the in the back caliper so it was easy and these old rubber boots it's just a metal ring sitting in here so just take a screwdriver drive it in carefully and then pry pry it out and the new one is just a metal ring with the rubber and it's gonna be drived in there but first i'm gonna clean it and make sure that it looks pristine so here's the end result looks fairly good we have to see if it leaks <laughs> hopefully it works like a charm
Okay, so moment of truth. Will it work? It's not as good as I hoped, but it's better. But it can just be a matter of that I have to get it out on the road and drive. It can be that simple, that I have to wear it in. I don't really know. It's better. The brakes are done. I, I don't really know what more I can do. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the brakes. Because I'm frankly quite done with them. I have uh, tried to get it working perfectly for months now. I think it's good enough. Brake pedal is taking about half the way down now uh, after I change everything in the front, so that's good. And I have good brakes, so I think I just have to wear the rotors and the uh, pads in together to make it less spongy. The rotor and the pad is not comfortably wear down together so I think that might be why it still is a little bit spongy pedal. But yeah, I'm done. I'm declaring the brakes done. So in the next episode, I'm actually gonna tackle some paint and not inside because the inside is almost done. I'm actually gonna start painting the outside. I actually decided that that might be a good idea to do before the inspection. And if I change it after the registration and get roadworthy, I can get pulled over and questioned about why uh, the vehicle is registered on one color but the vehicle is actually another color so instead of uh, having that as a potential hassle i'm just gonna paint it and then get it roadworthy by in the by the inspection so that's the last thing i promise the brakes should have been the last thing but yeah painting the van gonna be the last thing so Make sure to subscribe because that's coming up in the next episode and I'm gonna paint it in another way that you usually paint the car. I'm gonna use a paintbrush and a roller. I know that's not new but it's not common either. It's gonna be interesting to see how it's gonna look but I decided that I'm gonna try to make some sort of a texture like uh, you know the bed lining you can buy and spray on you get a rough texture something like that but i'm not going to use the bed liner i'm going to use another paint that's not made for cars and i find a roller that might do the trick so it's going to be interesting and we're going to have to see in the next episode so as i said make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss that out it's going to be really interesting to see the result that's everything i have for you today and uh, I'm gonna actually put everything down here and chill with my computer on YouTube and then I'm gonna head to bed because it's quite late. So with that said, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. You are on